couldn't resist, I had to return to Porto Vecchio. This is by far my favorite restaurant in Salerno. It hits all the marks. It hits all the marks. The price is about the same as the little dump that I've been going to. <laughs> the spaghetti with goat. Okay, the spaghetti is eight. Here, between ten and twelve, but it's so much better. It's so elegant. It's so beautiful. Look at the way the table is set. Now, I wanted to sit at the other table, but they had a um, reserve sign. Now they took it off, but it's all right. It doesn't matter. And I don't understand why they do that. They'll reserve a table. I don't know if they have a special customer that comes in every so often, and so just in case they reserve it, but they just took it away. So it's, I saw that in another place uh, the other day. Same thing, the table is reserved. That happened twice. One time, no one ever showed up, and the other time, they did show up. So I don't know, I guess they have certain customers that have been coming years and years, and they just reserve the table in case they decide to come in that night. So, do they do it in the United States? I've never noticed, but I guess I don't go to restaurants that are classy enough. They don't, they don't reserve any tables at Del Taco. <laughs> it's strictly first come, first serve. All right, so anyway, I got my little glass of Prosecco, and this time I got the linguine with the langostino, which is like, um, they like look like little lobsters. I got the risotto before. It was all right, but I really wanted the spaghetti. I wanted spaghetti with clam sauce or spaghetti with langostino. And I told them, non troppo al dente. So we'll see if they do that. But it is just soup. Oh, look at this. I got pictures of seahorses etched on the uh, on the mirrors, and there's another room, and there's a wine, a bunch of wines on the, uh, on the, uh, not a wine cellar, but a wine shelf. I'm sure they have a wine cellar too. Then they have a dessert section over there. And um, the other night when I came, it was packed with people, but tonight it is a, what's it Tuesday. It's a Tuesday, so it's not that. And this is right on the water. As I mentioned in the past, when you go to Positano or Amalfi, you take the ferry back, ask to get the ferry that takes you to the commercial district. That will let you up a few steps from this restaurant. And then you can walk right over to um, downtown Salerno, go to the shopping district. It's really a, a nice location. It'd be nice if you could actually see the water from here. But well, unfortunately, you can't. You can't have everything. But it's very close to the water. And I think you're going to get a better buy here than you would if you ate in Positano. That's strictly for tourists. This place is local. Now, I'm probably one of the few Americans that's ever been in this place. It is all local. So that's what I try to provide for you. Authentic places that are cheap. What I'm getting tonight is 12 euros, but there are items on there for 10. I try to always keep it at 10 or very close to 10. And um, I'm adding some uh, uh, Prosecco, but that's only three. So look, you're getting an elegant, gorgeous dinner in an elegant, gorgeous place. Look at, look at it. Are you kidding me? For 15 euros? Come on. All right, I'm working hard for you. I hope you're appreciating this, and you can show your appreciation by saving your pennies and coming over here, okay? And just tell them the crazy lady that talks into the tablet all night sent her you. <laughs> Another way you can show your appreciation, you don't have to pay me a penny. Just click on subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Could you do that for me? Because I work so hard for you guys, because I want people that don't have much money to experience travel and experience having a little fun. Don't listen to people that say, you poor, you can't travel, you can't. Save all your pennies, get the cheapest airfare, get the cheapest Airbnb, and then follow my instructions on how to eat very cheap. And, um, and then, then you'll be able to start discovering the same things too. All right? I'll let you know in a minute how the, um, the shrimp with langostinos in And basically shrimp scampi with uh, linguine. Let's see how it is. All right, that's all for now. Bye. All right, would you 
get a load of this. Oh my goodness. Good afternoon. Ah, okay. Good afternoon. He just brought me a little thing for uh, washing my hands. <laughs> Alright, but look at this. They look like lobsters. This is shrimp skin. These two big gigantic lobster-like things. Wow. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Alright. Now the other place had this for eight years. But this place is just so much more elegant. Uh, we'll see if it's any better. But it looks so good. Wow. 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 I wish I could stay here longer. <laughs> Next week, same time, back at Del Taco. <laughs> All right. I don't mean to slam Del Taco. There's nothing wrong with Del Taco, but not after this, huh? All right, we'll see. Hold on. The verdict is in it. It is superb. This place is superb. The langostina looks like little sweet lobsters. I'm just sorry there's only two of them, but they're huge, so I can't complain. But it's so sweet and fresh and delicious. And with a nice icy cold crisp glass of... Oh, I forgot what it was. Prosecco. Prosecco. You can't go wrong. Porto Vecchio. That's all. Mi piace questo ristorante, sì, mi fiore in uh, tutto Salerno. Questo qua? Sì, sì, grazie. Alright, now I'm going to take my ill-gotten gains with me home and finish it when I get done, because I can never finish a whole meal anymore. I used to be able to, now I'm like a little birdie. <laughs> Sad little birdie, I can't make it. But don't worry, sad little birdie becomes a vulture around three in the morning. Then I wake up and I can eat everything. I, I just can't do it all at once. All right? It was lovely. Please come to Porto Vecchio. If you don't, you are do yourself with the service. This was my favorite restaurant in all of Salerno. All right, that's that's enough. And it's a good price considering what you get. It's so elegant. Nice, classy people, gorgeous surroundings. What else do you want? All right, that's it. When I get the bill, I'll show that to you. I love these people at the next table. They know how to eat, they know how to roll. They've been eating and eating and eating. I thought they were done. Now they they put in appetizers. They already went to two courses. They're doing the courses backwards. They're doing appetizers now. The girl is eating a big old plate of those langostinos, little mini lobsters. The guy is diving into the spaghetti like there's no tomorrow. I don't know what kind it is. I asked the waiter, he says it's an appetizer. What he has is not an appetizer. What the girl has, I guess that's the appetizer of the langostinos. And man, they really know how to live. They know how to eat. I wish I was part of their party. Grazie! Okay, how does this happen? 12, 4, 2, how did this happen? All right, 15, they charged me a dollar more. I think they punished me the last time because I didn't leave a tip. But it's included, it's included in the cover charge. All right, so I got charged a dollar more. I'm not gonna make a federal case out of it. All right, so it's 12 and three. It should have been three. 15, 17, but it's 18. Like I said, this was my last meal in Salerno. So for the spaghetti, that was a delicious dish of spaghetti. 12 euros. The wine, which was $3, they raised the price to four tonight. <laughs> There's no argument. In Italy, they just do what they feel like, okay? It's three one night, it's four the other night. The cup charge, I thought was $1.50 the last time. I'm dead, I'm not sure. This time, it's two. But it came out to... 
18, and it was still an incredibly fabulous meal. Um, it's my last night, what can I tell you? If I had gone to the other place, I could have gotten a similar meal for 11. All right, because the spaghetti there is eight, and the wine is like a, a three, yeah, it's all eleven. So I spent a little more to be in elegante surroundings. All right, that's all. That's all, folks. In the words of Porky Pig, that's all, folks. And this is my last night, and I wanted to be an elegant, beautiful atmosphere, and I did it. And hey, I'm glad I did it. So that's all for now, and uh, I'll check in again if it's anything interesting, but you have to come to Puerto Vecchio. It is my absolute favorite place in the land. That's all for now. Bye.